Welcome to a quick tip tutorial in Anime Studio Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make holes in shapes. For our first example, we actually have three here. We have a donut, the square and a circle here. You can't really see it, but there is a circle there in the middle of this square. And we got part of the Anime Studio Pro 11 logo. So first off, we'll start with this layer here, the square and circle. What we want to do is we want to make a fill here on the outside and in the circle area in the middle there, we want that to be hollow, so no fill. So what we're going to do is we're going to first go to this tool here. It's uh, the delete shape tool and we're going to delete our fill and we're going to delete, if you have it, a stroke. Okay, so first you're going to go here to the create shape tool. You're going to click the edge of your shape here. And as you can see, it's going to fill in the whole entire shape. And that's what we had from the beginning. We don't want that. So we have this whole entire shape selected and I'm going to go and hold shift on the keyboard. And I'm going to select this next edge here on the circle. And that is going to show that all this here in the checkerboard is going to be filled there in the circle. That's not going to be filled. So that will then remain hollow. So here we're going to select our other shape here and just show that that is a hollow shape there in the middle. It's, there's nothing there. So for the next example, we're gonna come here to the donut, a little bit more of a complex shape. We already have this uh, shape not filled. Um, so we're gonna take all these vector layers and we're gonna make our frosting. So we'll make a chocolate donut here. Click our create shape tool. And as you can see, it wants to fill in the middle because that's all checkerboarded there. We don't want that. So we're going to hold shift and we're going to click on this frosting edge there, create our shape. Perfect. Next thing we got to do is the dough. So we'll hold our frosting again. It wants to fill this whole entire thing. We don't want that. We want it to fill in the, the dough, the breading here, hold shift, click, and we'll select our color there and create our shape. And there we go. We got our frosting for our donut. And just to see if that as well is hollow. It is hollow, perfect. All right, so now we got our Anime Studio Pro 11 logo. And for this example, we're gonna be using it just like this up here. There's the Anime Studio Pro 11 logo. Um, and it has a circle. I believe it's just a white circle fill in the middle of this logo here. Um, but we're actually going to just make it have two holes. So this is how to put a hole and a hole uh, between two shapes. Kind of like a binder with, I don't know, holes in the paper. Okay, so let's go here to the shape here. We'll just fix the color a little bit because kind of match that. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have our shape here. We're gonna go to the delete shape tool. It deleted all the fill, but we still have our shape here. But we wanna make a circle and we wanna make that circle hollow there in the middle. So I'm just gonna select the circle to the shape tool here, select my circle. Hold shift on the keyboard to hold a perfect circle. And as you can see here, it is actually making a fill because the auto fill is created. So let's actually uncheck that. Come back here with the shift tool or with shift on the keyboard being selected, drag it out, make our circle there. Perfect. It then again, when we select our create shape tool, wants to fill in the middle. Well, we just got to hold shift, click the outside edge and create a shape. And there we go. Now we'll just use We'll just go a lazy here and we'll just use this example twice. So I'll hit, select the whole shape, hit control C, control V on my keyboard. And that's going to drag the new shape out. I am going to select that color there. It looks like, oop, definitely not that. Eh, it's kind of close to that color there. Um, so we got our orange and our red. And now to see if they actually are hollow there in the middle, uh, we're going to cross the two together. So let's see here. the orange shape is actually on top so I'll bring that forward and let's see so far looking good I'm just selecting the two shapes moving them into position there making the anime studio logo it's a little lopsided but you get the idea so there we go so now we have these two shapes as you can see you can kind of see the other shape there in the middle those are two solid our hollow holes, I should say. Um, we'll just go ahead and bring the square there below. And as you can see, that is indeed a hollow shape. And that's it for this tutorial on how to make holes in Anime Studio. Be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for the next quick tip.